Hydroxychloroquine is not a controversial drug. I know that your listeners will find that hard to believe because all they've heard about it is controversy. It's not a controversial drug. It's been FDA approved for 65 years. We give it to pregnant women. We give it to breastfeeding women. There are patients who take it for decades. In fact, the typical use of Plaquenil or hydroxychloroquine is for decades. So it's not a controversial drug. And it wasn't controversial to me until the day after the president said it and the press went um, very uh, ballistic over it. I, I really can't understand it to this day. The experts are wrong. Hydroxychloroquine, when used early and combined with zinc, is an effective treatment. And that's why thousands and thousands of physicians around the country and around the world are using it and taking it themselves. I don't love to talk about hydroxychloroquine so much because it's become such a political hot potato. But one of the reasons, or maybe the main reason I started down this path was the resistance I got when I prescribed hydroxychloroquine. Now for me as a doctor, I'm there really only for the patient. It's not a two-way street. I am there for the patient. So when I had to prescribe hydroxychloroquine to a couple of patients, I did it. And the next day, I got tremendous pushback. I was stunned. What's really disturbing about this we got a letter, every California physician got a letter from the California State Medical Board essentially threatening us if we prescribe this medicine. It's very carefully worded. I'm happy to send you an email copy. But it says we have to be cautious about prescribing this. It could be construed as unprofessional conduct. That's enough to stop a doctor from being honest and truthful with the patient about what they need.